In the Afghan capital, Kabul, hundreds of people rallied to demand that war criminals be brought to justice. Participants in the protest, organized by the National Solidarity Party, carried photos of accused war criminals, including former communist rulers, jihadist leaders, and current politicians. Protesters called for the April 5th presidential elections to be declared illegal because some former warlords were running as candidates. In Pakistan, many businesses were closed in the city of Karachi amid a strike called by a political party. The Mutahida Kaumi Movement, or MQM, declared the strike in response to the killing of three of its members a day earlier. Party members said that security forces had detained the three and killed them in custody, a charge that officials denied. In Ukraine, more than 4,000 people in the city of Cherkasy sat and stood in unison 25 times, setting a world record for collective squatting. Participants, wearing national colors, said the event was a display of Ukrainian unity. People from across Ukraine also formed a beating heart at the center of the gathering. Also in Ukraine, pro-Russian activists rallied in Kharkiv to demand that authorities end their operations in the city of Slovyansk. Ukrainian forces have launched an assault against the pro-Russian separatists who are in control of government buildings in Slovyansk. At least two helicopters were shot down as the operations began. In Kyrgyzstan, President Almazbek Atambaev joined business leaders at a ceremony marking the start of construction on a new highway between Osh and Bishkek. The $800 million project is financed with the help of Chinese loans. The new highway will supplement an existing route that can't support the current level of traffic, and it will provide access to some previously inaccessible mountain areas. In Tajikistan, the Afghan national soccer team arrived in the capital Dushanbe for a friendly match in preparation for the Asian Football Confederation's Challenge Cup later this month. The Afghan team's coach said that Tajikistan had offered its facilities to help the team train. The Afghan-Tajik friendly match is scheduled for May 4th. And that's the video roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.